So now we're going to talk about the last way to prove that you have congruent triangles. It's called HL. Okay, so HL or hypotenuse leg is a way to prove that right triangles are congruent because only right triangles have a hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse and the leg of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another triangle. So like we said, this is going to be a right triangle because the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle of a triangle. And only right triangles have right angles. So we know that the hypotenuse of this triangle is congruent to the hypotenuse of this triangle. I know that this leg is congruent to this leg of this triangle. And a leg is just any side of the triangle of the right triangle that is not its hypotenuse. And we know that these are both right angles because they're right triangles. So therefore, I can say that triangle A is congruent to triangle B by HL. Except we want to say that it's a right triangle because HL only works for right triangles. Because if you think about it, right angles are always congruent to one another because right angles measure always is 90 degrees. So you have a side, an angle, and a side. So, now that we know that, we're going to do some examples. So for the first one, I have these two triangles. I know that this leg is congruent to this leg of this triangle. Since they share their hypotenuse, that is congruent to itself, and we know that these two are right angles. So we can say therefore triangle A is congruent to triangle B by HL. So we have these two triangles down here. We know they're right triangles their hypotenuses are congruent and they share this leg right here. So therefore, this will be triangle 1 and this will be triangle 2. Triangle 1 is congruent to triangle 2 by HL. And for this last example, we know we have these two triangles right here. They have, we know they're right triangles and they share this leg. But, to prove they're congruent by HL, we need a hypotenuse and a congruent leg. But we don't know that these hypotenuses are congruent. So therefore, we cannot prove triangles congruent because we don't have enough information. So we just learned all five ways to prove that triangles are congruent. Now in our next lesson we're going to talk about special properties of isosceles triangles.